do you find that people have a hard time knowing what they actually want? Like they don't want to be overwhelmed anymore, but past that, like, well, but what, why, what for, what are you going to do instead? What, what's the desired outcome of getting organized in the first place? I think a lot of people, they have the desire. Mm -hmm. But they see all this stuff and they start thinking it's going to take this amount of time and I'm going to have to get rid of all of this. Stuff. And they start thinking about all this stuff. And sometimes it just gives them like a standstill and yeah, they don't want to move forward. and they don't want to move forward when in reality, people need to understand that being organized is really being surrounded by all the things you use and you love. And just getting right? rid of everything else and just creating a simple system. For example, Mary, you know, a lot of people now, we all take our shoes off when we come home, you know, and then we just mm -hmm. kick them off at the door. And I tell people, it's just a simple system. Have a shoe rack. So, you know, you can put the shoes there when you come home. And then when mm -hmm. you're going out the door, you can actually know that you're wearing the exact same shoe and not maybe, right. you know, you're wearing black shoes, but they don't, don't match. So it's, right. just, you know, it's just, you know, it's just like simple <laughs> things. <laughs> the number of times my mom has arrived at a restaurant wearing two different shoes is kind of amazing. Actually. <laughs> um, I think that's a good point, though. I think. One of the things that disorganized people don't always realize is it's easier and you can have more freedom by taking care of this stuff. Like they're making things worse by this behavior of putting it off or hiding things um, and not and just buying uh, mindlessly mm -hmm. like and timing. Do you, do you laugh about the timing? The fact that it's going to take us six hours to do this entry hall table drawer, but we can do the garage in three hours. <laughs> right? yeah, and th yeah, and I think a lot of times people, they have a, they feel like they can just go in and just work on a project. Like, oh, I'm going to do the garage on Saturday. And I tell people, wait, just, just, just back up. Just break look, that down. <laughs> just break it down into something manageable because what's going to happen is you're going to get halfway in there. You're going to get tired. You can get frustrated. You're going to close the door and then you're going to go in the house and probably binge watch something. And then nothing will get done. And so, any sorting or categorizing you already did is going to get shoved back in the closet. And now you got to make those decisions again. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. going to take you like 20 minutes at least to just figure out where you were when you left off the project. So mm -hmm. I think chunking down is definitely one of those things people don't do. And it's like, well, it won't make a difference if I do the pencil cup. And it's like, yes, it will tomorrow when you need a pencil. Yes. Yeah. And the same thing with junk drawers. It's like doing yeah. a drawer at a time. Don't feel like you got to do them all. Just do a drawer at a time. And I even share with people when I do my closet seasonally, I don't go in there and just do everything. I'll do like my shoes, the handbags. Mm -hmm. I'll, right. And I'll do my clothes. So I just break it down so it's manageable for me. Yeah, I think because living an organized life is a constant ongoing editing process. You're always curating. New things happen. New things come in. Old things need to go out or they need to be matched up. Um, you know, it, and it's interesting. You have the skills, people. You put your ice cream in the freezer. That means you can put your shoes on a rack. That means you can put the rake away in the garage. 